I think I got the uh, the alternate ending, bro. I literally just attempted it, and uh, again, I don't remember if this was what happened yesterday night. All right, the audio cool. I don't remember if this what happened last yesterday night, but I'm pretty sure I just beat Raditz before the cut, like the little cut scene to play out. But uh, Steph PG3 here, and I have arrived back into Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. And I paused it till I ended it, so this is this, hopefully this is different. Pretty yeah, I'm pretty sure we didn't see this one, so. Also, y'all, I just realized it, it's. I just low key found that like meeting the bosses is not as hard as you think, bro. Bosses is not. They they definitely difficult to beat, but they're not too hard. Wow. They all literally just. Goku mm. and his friends work together to beat Raditz. However, he warns them in one year, two even stronger scenes will visit Earth. Goku contacts his friends and they start a training regiment under the watchful eye of Kami. However, having not been trained in martial arts before, Gohan cannot keep up with them. He tries his best to follow their lead and train, but he knows that he will only hold them back. Then Piccolo arrives. Piccolo points out that they have been too kind to go on in their training. He informs that them he will be taking over Gohan's training. Still, even in a different alternate timeline, he's still doing it. Training to you. Goku, are you nuts? I know. The old Piccolo was once our greatest enemy, but this one? After what happened today, I think we can trust him. Know what I mean? He's right. If it wasn't for Piccolo, we'd all be dead. And we've got a mutual enemy, so we could use all the help we could get. Gohan, what do you want to do? Piccolo is an amazing fighter. And if you ask me, I think he might actually be a good guy. Well, I... I want to be strong like you, Dad. So I'll do it. I'll learn wow, this is a... This is a different, uh, interesting... Well, <laughs> like no the way the story can play out. Teach him everything you know, Goku and the others complete their training with Kami, and each of them then comes to work on their individual skills. Then they gather to test the fruits of their labor. Right, it's so weird because that means Goku gonna be with them when they go fight the Saiyans. He never, bro. He never dies, so he can't. He doesn't get taught Kaioken. It's so weird. We'll showcase all we've learned in preparation. How should we proceed, Goku? I just honestly, I don't think this. Oh, can I fight all of them or? Um, should I, I feel like Tien, Tien, would y'all, y'all think Tien was the strongest here? He had to be, right? At the time, it couldn't have been Krillin, bro. It, it had to be. I, I'm a, I'm a fight Tien, bro. I wonder, do, do that matter? Your decision on who you fight matter? I don't think TM gonna have super armor, so we should be fine. Yeah, TM doesn't have super. Yo, that's how you, you doing that already? I mean, but yeah, to be honestly, y'all, to beat the bosses with super armor, depending on the type of boss. If they're aggressive and they really don't let you charge, then it's going to be difficult. 
but if they have super armor and they fight a lot like Radix, that y'all didn't see that fight because you know I wasn't about to do it again in the video because I already did it. But Radix is is he's real like passive. He'll sit there and let you charge up because he'll be charging up himself, and that's when you no way he do that. No way he did that. That's when you do do this, do a little sparking combo because you go through a super armor. And then hopefully this really doesn't miss, but hopefully he gets hit by it. <laughs> because if he doesn't, then that hey, that's pretty much the stress. That's that's my tips on beating anybody with super armor. We're gonna fight. Pretty sure we're gonna have to fight Grade Eight Vegeta again. Goku and the others have tested their power to return. They return to their training in pre preparation for the Saiyans attack. However, they do not have enough time before the Saiyans appear on Earth. The Saiyans and multiple have been to test out Goku and his friends. With the benefit of their strict training, they easily set off, see off the threat. So Yamcha doesn't die. Finally, a Saiyan called Nappa decides to confront them directly. Whoa. Did that. Does Nappa have super? Yeah. Does he have super armor? Nah, he doesn't. Alright, then this is pretty free then. I ain't gonna lie, all the, all the fights is pretty free. We just gotta put the pressure on the computer. They going forward. They can get really defensive sometimes, but you gotta, hey, you gotta be defensive back. Oh, I should have did a follow up. Also, like Goku has one of the cheapest moves in the game right now. If you if you really need to, you can just do Solon Flare. So it's like it's I mean you would have to land it first, but it's it's, it's not really hard to land it. That's kinda oh, we unlocked the kid, go on off it. So that's kinda crazy that Nobody really dies here because Goku's here. Unless Vegeta's about to just slaughter everybody. Vegeta kills Nappa without batting an eye as the latter has lost to Goku. Goku and others can sense Vegeta's overwhelming power. They divide into two groups. Along with Goku, Tien, and Piccolo, we both have strength left to spare and engage, and engage with Vegeta. I said we, who both have. Goku, Krillin, and Yamcha, Tao to leave the battlefield. Once Goku, Gohan, and the others have left, the remaining three begin their battle with Vegeta. Why would you kill your wow. <laughs> That's kinda insane, bro. So instead of a 1v1, is a 1v3? That's insane. I'm probably going to separate. I'm probably going to just leave this as its own video. I'm pro I probably won't, you know, I won't um include the name Saga into this one. Wouldn't you like to know? I was trying to do my super. Oh, he was in my mix. We pretty much cool right now. Oh yeah. I gotta start. I gotta start doing follow-up attacks with that. Oh yeah, he's on the ground, lacking. Oh, 
face. Oh, I dropped. I didn't press nothing. I'm not gonna lie with you. Hey, this is looking pretty free. Of course, he'd do explosive plays. I should kill him. No way he survived that. We still gonna have to fight him as a grade eight. But we should have, we got T and Piccolo, so it, it shouldn't be too difficult. We'd have back up. has been injured by Goku in rage he transformed into a great ape and attempted to defeat Goku however Piccolo have destroyed the moon during his train his training with Gohan to combat Gohan's great ape transformation Vegeta realized the moon isn't there and stay creates a power ball to transform into a great ape the three of them share the remaining sensor beams between them to face Vegeta's great ape form oh wow he start wow he's he's starting out aggressive huh well, consider this how to how to be great at Vegeta Part Two, bro. You can you can really get him early, like you can low key get him like this. Oh uh, yeah, that's all right. You really just gotta stall until you get a blast stop. Then you should be all right. Loki cooking this man. Alright, that. Nah, nah, nah. We, nah. we definitely can't let him hit that ultimate. Nah, see. Nah, I dash behind. I did not dash. Nah, he he definitely throwing out buttons right now. This is the point blank attack here. I was about to say. I was about to say, nah, he on one HP. <laughs> he just start standing there. I thought he lost sight of me for a minute. Wait. Nah, that's kind of insane that three of them are doing that. <laughs> they about to do. He had to be he cutting off his tail. Yeah. Wow. I don't see how he survived this. Nah, they really jumping this man. We did it, guys. We really did it. So they just killed Vegeta. Is he dead? This is just an interesting take if Goku didn't die. But no, he's, he looks. Oh, he's still alive. They really just jumped that man. Goku and his friends are certain of their victory. However, Vegeta survived their attack with sheer immensity of his life force. 
Goku and Naruto has used up all their energy in this life or death struggle. However, a little may, little, little it may be, but it only Piccolo and Goku have remaining key. Drawing on that meager amount, they challenge Vegeta once again. Despite Vegeta's counterattack, Goku managed to withstand him. Goku buys times while Piccolo cho chooses the right moment to channel the remaining key into his fingertips. Did he buy hit him with the? No way Vegeta gets hit by that. What? No way. Vegeta nearly dodges Piccolo attack and frees himself into from Goku's hold. Oh nah. As a result, Goku takes a full brunt of Piccolo's special beam cannon and loses consciousness. When Goku comes to, he sees Gohan cornered by Vegeta. Actually got hit by that. I'm a, with his life on the line. Goku's final punch collides with Vegeta. Vegeta takes the full force of the punch and summons his spaceship and attempt to return home. I'm assuming Goku leaves him again, and lets him escape. Krillin determines that to deter Vegeta from escape, he moves in for a finishing finishing blow. But with his final breath, Goku stops him. Oh, with these final words, Goku takes his last breath. Choosing to honor Goku's final wish, Krillin listens, allowing Vegeta to escape. So he still dies. But Piccolo isn't dead. So Goku, Krillin's final words will soon invite not only Vegeta, but even more terrifying enemies to attack Earth. However, no one can foresee that yet. Wow. Oh, alright, so he's still... As for Goku, after his death in a battle with Vegeta, Kami arranged him for him to train under the watchful gaze of King Ka. Goku has grown stronger by training with his companion, Paddle, and others. He's robbed before King Ka within mere days. Meanwhile, back on Earth, cornered by Vegeta's use of the word Namekian, Piccolo decides to travel to Planet Namek on a spaceship that was once used by Kami. Go on wishing to become as strong as possible before a Saiyan attack Earth. Ignores Chi Chi's and decides to travel with Piccolo to train under him. Nearly one month, Goku surpasses King Kai by quickly mastering Kaioken in the Spirit Bomb. However, King Kai soon noticed that Vegeta is once again on the course for Earth. Goku, Goku rushes to notify his friends that they need to revive him with the Dragon Balls. He then, he then back on Earth within a few hours. Goku and his companions then travel to, to the site where Vegeta key is, and, key is, and they prepare for battle. Whoa! But he really touched down on a play that thought he was about to. If you don't believe me, believe this: the Dragon Balls are being sought after by Frieza, the self-proclaimed Emperor of the Universe. Frieza? And I can assure you, not a single Earthling could ever match his power. Frieza is considered absolutely invincible. But if I'm granted immortality, I can kill him and spare all your lives. So if you know what's good for you, hand over the Dragon Balls. So you telling me that instead of everybody going to Namek, Frieza instead is coming here instead. You've got to be kidding me. After what you did to Goku, why would we ever let you make a Nah, this is insane, y'all. Yeah, no offense, but I find it hard to believe there's anyone who could be stronger than Goku anyway. And not to mention how strong Goku is at this time. Like, it's not even like the regular story. He got stronger, they beat Vegeta, and then he died and got even stronger. Like, even if you're telling the truth, I'm still not gonna let you use the Dragon Balls. And besides, the Earth is ours to defend. <laughs> Fine, then I'll just 
just have to take them by force. So we about to fight again. He don't have a tail this time though, so he can't transform. This should still be pretty easy. So is this Goku mid? Yo! So this is go. Oh, all right. This is so weird, bro. Nah, he. Why you doing that every time? So where? So like did so Vegeta went to that planet he did in like the regular story and then and just came back to Earth after he healed up? Is that what happened? Oh yeah, I called him. He was doing an explosive wave. Got him. I don't think he dies from this, though. Did he just die? No way he just died. Uh, nah, he didn't die. I was about to say, see, if I would have tried to put this in the fight with the, with the Namek John, then technically this is the Namek story now. This is so interesting. This freezer person is aiming to attack Earth. Then how did you manage to get here before him? Freezer tracks in the gargantuan mother. So my more compact space pod allowed me to land here much quicker. None of this changes the fact that we can't trust you. Guys, I think Vegeta's actually telling us the truth. I don't think he'd ever sacrifice his pride as a Saiyan warrior to lie about somebody being stronger than him. I don't know, just doesn't make sense to me. If anything, I think he'd much sooner die trying to steal the Dragon Balls than sacrifice his pride. Then there really is someone stronger than you and Vegeta? And they want to conquer Earth? I'm debating if I should just end this, because I only wanted to go up, like, finish the Saiyan Saga I aspect believe, of it. And I think we have no other choice but to join forces. With that, Goku and, and companions begin cooperating with Vegeta to confront Frieza, Emperor of the Universe, who was on his way to attack Earth. While uh, Gohan and Vegeta begin training, Bulma and the others tasked with keeping in contact with Piccolo and Gohan as they travel to Planet Namek. Vegeta and Goku, Goku train together, refining their combat skills using the gravity chamber developed by Bulma's father. One day, the team defect, detects Frieza's key approaching Earth, and in, in that room, they realize that, that the moment has finally come. Due to the massive size of that key, the team decides to leave Chao behind while Goku and his friend travel to freeze the expected landing point. They are attacked during their travels by Vegeta's former rival, Q. But Vegeta has grown stronger from training and defeats him easily. Alright, bro. So, which one of you wants to die next? I don't alright, 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 alright. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. This is his own little thing, bro. What is this path right now? What is this, bro? Shit, we on, we on chapter two. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Yeah, we, we gonna stop. We about to record another one after this. Bro, that's so interesting. So what happens when you beat? Let me look at the... Can I look at the details? Do they let you look at that on this? Nah, it just survive. It just say survive the battle. How do you do that though? I mean, it don't really matter which one you take. It both end up going this way. I'm assuming that at least that's what it looks like. This is his own little thing over here, which is insane. Honestly, it's just it's insane, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. All right. So that's the end of the video, y'all. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Turn post notifications on. Um, 
in this next video I'm about to do, we're about to just go to like just do it. I don't know. I'm about to. I'm about to do. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, bro. I'm gonna go back and forth, so I can just end this man's story like all at once. I don't gotta come all the way back and redo the story. You get what I'm saying? So at least I'm in like the same area, cause you know this this low key takes forever to move slow. All right. All right, so like, share, subscribe if you're new, y'all. Turn post notifications on, and I'm out.